Yo, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody is doing well. You want to know something hilarious? For the longest time, I did not know that resource boosters actually increase the amount of void traces you get whenever you're doing a void fisher mission. Within two steel path defense waves on a void fisher mission, I was averaging 36 void traces for every two waves, which is really not the greatest, considering that with the booster in one run of a defense, I actually got 36 void traces, which is absolutely amazing. In that mission, we went all the way up to wave 20, and by by the end of that mission, I ended up with 187 void traces, which you can see right here if I just scroll down and yeah, there they are, 187, which now puts me at 335 total, and I haven't even farmed like that. This was only the second mission I have done. I did one without the booster and then one with the booster to test, and you can see the results for yourself. And of course, if I did both of those missions with the booster, I could have got even more, but at the end of the day, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm sure this is a widely known fact out there, but nonetheless, I didn't learn about about it till recently so i figured i'd go ahead and make this video just in case there's anybody else who didn't know that you could actually get more void traces by just simply having a resource booster on it's pretty cool if you guys got a void trace farm that you absolutely love let me know down below i personally just like farming the defense missions in the void fisher tab up here when it comes to void traces any type of defense mission works for me but the neo defenses work especially great for me because as you can see i got a fuck ton of neo relics before this video ends real quick just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on all the videos across the channel and yeah guys that's gonna be it for me keep your head up stay positive and with that being said thanks for watching